Sorry, Alexander, I'm not there with you. But since the pandem pandemic, I think this is the safer way to do the video and the show must go on. So I agree. we must continue to record the new tutorials. Today's topic will be MySQL and how to create tables with them. Also, we will show you how you can use inner join in the SQL and also use our placeholders from our WP Data Tables plugin. So, Alexander, if you can share a screen with me, that would be nice. Yep. And we can start right away. Okay, let me present my screen. Okay, so um, first of all, we've got two database tables. One is the um, orders table. It contains the order ID, customer ID, and the order date. And the second table is customers table with customer ID, name, contact name, and country. Uh, basically, these are just dummy tables with dummy data. Um, so in WP data tables, when you go to create a new table and select create a data table link to an existing data source, we just select SQL, SQL query, and type in, for example, select all from orders table. We save the changes. We can see the um, orders table right here, order ID, customer ID, and order date. Um, these tables are dynamic, so we can change this to customers and save changes and it will simply update with the second table from the database. Okay. Now if we want to join these two tables for example take the order ID and the order date and instead of the customer ID show the customer's name we can use something like this select orders dot order ID. Let me just see if I wrote it down. Yep, order ID. Sorry about that. Okay, next we go to change to add actually customers um, customer name. Just confirm that that's okay. Yes. And orders dot order date so that's also okay now from orders table now we can join customers table on orders dot order customer ID sorry customer ID equals to customers dot customer ID. Once again verify that everything is okay and click on save changes and there we have it. order ID, customer name and order date. Um, since this is an integer column we can remove the thousand separator so it looks nicer and there it is order okay. ID, order date, and the customers here, right here. Okay, so if you can please tell me now, uh, are there some issues if the joins or some more complicated uh, SQL uh, queries are in the, in the query? Uh, does sorting and filtering works also? Uh, yeah, when you have join, union, concat, or any subqueries, there's a possibility that filtering or sorting and search will not work correctly. So if I try 10421, which we can see right here, it displays correctly, but sometimes it doesn't want to do that. So let me see if it works for John. It's loading. But seems like it won't filter this column probably because of the uh, join in the, in the in the query most likely yes so okay so if you have complicated queries 
what is the solution for this case? Do, mm. do you have uh, filtering and sorting work? Yeah, in case there's a complex query that where sorting, filtering, or search won't work, you can simply use the, the query that you've added here and in the database create a view. So simply create a view. Uh, let's call it view two as select no not select because I already copied that so I just paste it um, and go okay so the view has been created and it's right here okay. somewhere under views yeah. here it is so view two so we can use this query in WP data tables and the important thing to note here is that these accent graves these back ticks can also cause filtering and sorting not to work so we can just remove them and we also should not include the semicolon because it's added automatically so with this query we can see the exact same table but it should filter correctly now there it is. Yeah, yeah. So that, that is the perfect solution for the for these cases. Yes, exactly. Um, the more complex the query, less likely uh, it is to be editable. So if the query is complex, you won't be able to edit it in the original query or using the view. Okay, nice. Are there any some more features like placeholders to use in in this case? Yes, um, let me just take a look at the customers table real quick. Um, yeah, there is customer ID one. So I'm logged in. When I go to placeholders, I can see that my current user ID is one. So I can use this placeholder, copy it. And in the query, I can add a condition where customer ID equals the placeholder so the customer ID won't be referenced here because because this is a, a view so let's try doing the query again for example select orders that order ID then orders no not orders but customers dot customer name orders dot order date from orders table join customers table on orders dot customer ID equals customers dot customer ID where customer ID equals current user ID. This should work. Nope, something's wrong. Let me see if this works. Okay, so this works fine. We can simply add orders Uh, orders dot customer ID so it shows up customer ID here it is where customer ID equals the okay <laughs> I already copied the entire condition it's not working because I'm doing can something you, can wrong. Use where in, in, the, in the view? Can you can we use where or some other logic in the view also? Yes, yes. Uh, I just I believe that I need to um, separate this orders orders dot customer ID. It's not letting me do this. Let me see if this actually works fine it should 
Okay, so if I select orders dot order ID from orders where customer ID equals current user ID, I get only one row right here. So let's go back. Your customer ID, yeah. Yes. So this join works, obviously, but for some reason, join customers on customer ID equals customer ID. This should work where orders dot customer ID equals current user ID. There it is. I have no idea. Yeah. I have no idea what I did wrong. I, I'll, I will yeah, yeah. we'll see it in the video afterwards, but I, I obviously pasted something wrong since the join now works and the um, condition to filter by my current user ID also works. So we'll see it afterwards. Okay, so if you maybe don't want to type everything in, in that MySQL, can you maybe paste all of the, the query that you write in, into a view? And it, it, will it change if the customer ID is different? You mean with this? Yeah, so no. with all of the query, you can create a view. Yeah. Right? yeah uh, and it will change depends on the customer ID or not. Actually not, because uh, the current yeah. user ID play, placeholder is uh, only used in WP data tables. It okay cannot be used in the database so if you paste this query to create a view you will get an error most likely so let's try create view view three as uh, it's going to report that this is wrong yeah yeah okay, nice. there's an error right there so uh, this placeholder only works in wp data tables but you can select everything from the view view two where customer ID equals current user ID this should work but without orders because it's not in the view oh I'm doing something wrong again okay so select all from view number two yeah the view is constructed without the customer ID column so that's why the placeholder is not working if we were to create a view where which would include um which would include the customer id for example create a view as okay so orders dot customer id we can save that and now when we select all from view number three view Three, this should work. No, it's still not working, but let me see what I entered in view three. So customer ID. No, because I didn't add from, sorry. I'm... No, no, it's okay. It's nice, it's nice to know that these uh, errors can happen to, to, to... Well, yeah, especially I got a microphone right right in front of me, so. <laughs> <laughs> Where customer ID equals current user ID. And there it is. So yeah, yeah. you can create a view where you'll include the column you want to filter by, and then you can use our placeholders. Okay, nice. That, that's, that's good to know. Yeah, so, I agree. <laughs> that's basically it, right? That's pretty much it. Let me stop sharing okay, my screen. Okay. Okay, nice. All right. If that's it, well, pretty much. This uh, can come in handy if you work with SQL views and also to see which errors we Alexander made, so you can it can happen really. So. Thank you guys for watching and if you have any questions or suggestions what we we should record next please let us know in the comment section below alexander thank you again thank and you see you in another video. take thank care you. bye 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 guys bye.